We are here today with Dr. Michael Wald, Doctor of Nutrition and Director of Nutritional Services at Integrated Medicine of Mount Kisco, PC. Our topic today is cancer and nutrition. How important is nutrition to the treatment of cancer? Well, in my opinion, the emphasis on proper nutrition in cancer could not be overemphasized. All the various powers that be that manage uh, the nutrition-cancer relationship like the American Cancer Society all point out and the National Institutes of Health and Center of Disease Control that nutrition plays a major role in both nutritional problems causing cancer but also in nutrition for the prevention of cancer and using proper nutrition in the form of diet and nutritional supplements both by mouth and nutrition in the form of intravenous nutrition for the treatment of cancer, or at least the adjuvant treatment of cancer, meaning nutrition used along with, let's say, chemotherapy or radiation and surgery. So nutrition, in a nutshell, has a role no matter where you are along the cancer spectrum, prevention or, or, or treatment. What fruits and vegetables are most nutritional to a cancer patient? Well, in terms of fruits and vegetables and cancer prevention and treatment, I don't think I could overemphasize the importance of them. Uh, the more fruit and vegetables that a person with cancer could con uh, can consume, the better. Now, some of you that know a little something are thinking, well, I thought that sugar is bad in cancer and aren't fruits sugar. Well, there is sugar in fruit, but the predominant fruit is fructose. And then grapes have glucose, but we're not talking about giving a person with cancer just glucose or just fructose. We're talking about a whole food which contains tens of thousands of healthful phyto elements and many, many anti-cancer and cancer treatment uh, agents. So it's, it's a, very, a very different thing entirely when we're talking about giving someone fruits. So uh, I just wanted to get that point out of the way. The higher the intake of fruit and vegetables, the lower the incidence of getting cancer in the first place. And studies have shown that when people eat large amounts of fruits and vegetables and decrease their animal protein, once they actually even have cancer, the progression of their cancer, like colon cancer, for example, is much, much slower, of breast cancer, much, much slower. So nutrition definitely has a role, not to mention that every oncologist hematologist, every cancer doctor knows that the number one cause of death in someone with cancer, regardless of the type of cancer, is almost never their cancer. It's usually malnutrition and secondary infections from lowered immunity from the chemotherapy or from the cancer itself. Increased risk of infections and malnutrition are the two things that proper nutrition manages in cancer patients. So it should be a no-brainer uh, the importance of nutrition in cancer prevention and treatment. What foods are significantly more harmful to a cancer patient's health that should be avoided during treatment of the disease? The foods that are, in my opinion, the most harmful for a cancer patient would have to be sugar foods. So the refined and processed carbohydrates and white flour foods and also uh, simple sugar foods in the form of candy and desserty foods. But then again, those foods that are bad for cancer are the same foods that are bad for pretty much anyone wishing to avoid uh, or prevent chronic degenerative disease of any type. And they would also include um, red meat, too much red meat, and then other lifestyle habits uh, such as smoking and uh, not smoking at all and not drinking excessively and getting proper sleep. Uh, but overall, a vegetarian or vegan diet is, is probably the way to gravitate uh, when you do have uh, cancer. There are some exceptions, though, but uh, suffice it to say that thinking vegan or vegetarian or macrobiotic is probably the way to go. But I must stress that laboratory work, history, and, and, and questionnaires go a long way towards figuring out the best combination uh, of foods for each individual's cancer. So the diet shouldn't simply be, oh, well, I heard that the macrobiotic diet is somehow better than some other diet for cancer, or this or that is the best cancer diet. The best quote-unquote cancer diet is based on the nutritional needs of the person with cancer. 
and their needs are never the same. They can change from week to week and certainly month to month and year to year. So a, a clinical nutritionist must be mindful of that and so must be the person that, that has the, the cancer and I'll alter the diet appropriately over time based on lab work, based on their ability to comply and based on the actual results that they hopefully gain um, when they uh, attempt certain uh, dietary plans. What nutritional features of a Mediterranean diet make it so complementary for someone with cancer? The Mediterranean diet overall is thought to be quite a good diet. And what I like about it is it's very high in healthy fats, again, like avocados and cold pressed, what's known as virgin uh, imported forms of olive oil, um, and uh, a, a good amount of, of raw uh, vegetables, very high in fruit. And, and low, and very low in animal products. These are simply the characteristics of a low inflammation, a more acid-based balancing diet, uh, and seem to be associated with a lower risk of not just cancers, but also heart disease, and probably is a very good diet to have, even if you should succumb to those particular conditions. This has been Dr. Michael Wall.